Today, we're slowing down the news and looking back on the past couple of months and remembering those who we've lost due to the coronavirus. Today is Thursday, it's July 23rd, and this is The Current Music News. I'm Jade. And I'm Jay. COVID-19 has now claimed well over half a million lives worldwide. In past episodes, we've talked about some of the famous musicians who've succumbed to the virus. People including John Prine, Ellis Marsalis, Adam Schlesinger, Manu Dibango, Lee Konitz, Dave Greenfield, Hal Wilner, Bucky Pizzarelli, Mike Longo, and Matthew Seligman. Today, we want to step back and talk again about the music artists we've lost to coronavirus. We're highlighting just a few of the many we haven't talked about yet. Hip-hop artist Fred the Godson died on April 23rd. He was a successful artist all through the 2010s, getting his big break at the very beginning of the decade. He was known for his humor and his creative lyrics, but really what set him apart was becoming this uh, hip-hop media personality. He was a big part of Sway in the Morning, and he also joined Funkmaster Flex on the Hot 97 show. At the time of his death, he was 35. All right, Flex. Let's Love. go! Uh, we still strive for perfection. Shout out to New York, I like the direction. Woo! On the phone with my brother, he in correction. My bar's up, we'll always have a connection. <laughs> Glock for protection, act big, get your coogee clap. Red dot him from the phone like it's Google Map. Mm. You can rap, but I'm harder. Why run up on your range? Turn it to Lil Wayne and give your car to fire. <laughs> Singer Chris Truesdale died on June 2nd. He was a member of the boy band Dream Street, who also included Jesse McCartney. Dream Street's self titled debut album from 2000 went gold. And two years later, Chris Truesdale starred as himself in the movie The Biggest Fan. In that movie, one of his fans helps him go undercover as just a normal kid so he can escape the pressures of celebrity. By the end of the movie, he and his fan share a kiss on stage at a Dream Street concert. At the time of his death, Chris Truesdale was 34. Brazilian singer Dolce Nunes died on June 4th. She was a bossa nova star in the 1960s, and she released three albums and worked with some of the biggest names in the scene back in her day. Uh, Before her singing career, she was actually a, a big movie star in Brazil. In fact, one of their biggest movie stars. She had a glamorous marriage to fellow artist and musician, Benet Nunes, and after her music career ended, uh, she became an interior designer and owned her own architecture firm. At the time of her death, she was 90. The New York Times has been publishing a series of obituaries for people who've died of COVID-19. Not just celebrities, but ordinary people who made a difference in their communities. One of those was Leota Dooley, who died on April 23rd. She was a music lover who lived in the isolated Colorado mountain community of Salida. In 1988, she founded a community singing group called The Notables that was open to anybody who wanted to sing. That group is still going strong. Over the course of Leota Dooley's 97-year life, she was also an entrepreneur, a bar owner, an engineering librarian, and someone who built a cabin with her mom. She was among a number of residents of a senior care facility who died of the coronavirus. Other musicians we've lost to COVID-19 include gospel star Troy Sneed, British rapper Ty, jazz trumpeter Wallace Ronnie, sound engineer Sam Clayton Jr., 
Zimbabwean Mbira musician Cosmos Magaya, Brazilian Carnival Samba composer Tanio Mendoza, and Broadway star Nick Cordero. That's today's music news. We'll be back with another update, but we're also sharing updates via Instagram Live. Our next one will be next Tuesday, July 28th. Find us on The Current's Instagram, it's just at The Current, at 2 p.m. Central Time. We're going to leave you with a clip of Christina. That's a singer known from the New York no-wave scene back in the 70s and the 80s. She was known for this kind of brash attitude and this punky, fun, upbeat uh, attitude that inspired artists like Cyndi Lauper, like Madonna, like Lady Gaga, really bringing in that fun and that energy. Uh, sadly, she died on March 31st at the age of 64. He asked me, girl, what do you want to be? I said, honey, can't you see? I want to be famous, a star of the screen. But you can do something in between and between. That's all very fine, but I can show you a better time. Grrr.